If you can keep your head when all about are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt, but make allowance for their doubting too, if you can wait and not be tired by waiting, or being lied about, don't deal in lies, or being hated, don't give way to hating, and yet don't look too good or talk too wise, if you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two impostors just the same, if you can make a heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again from your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss, if you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue or walk with kings nor lose the common touch, if neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the world and everything that's in it. And which is more, you'll be a man, my son. This has been one of my favorite poems from Rudyard Kipling by since I was in high school. And as time's gone by and, and as I think about more about it, uh, I find that uh, some of the lines maybe aren't quite as simple or straightforward as I might have once thought they were. What do you think? Any reservations? Any observations? Ultimately, the story is that we have to take responsibility for ourselves. We have to hold ourselves to higher standards. And we have to balance being individuals, being part of the community of mankind and the society of the world. And now that we have so much time for quiet and private reflection, I think it's a perfect opportunity to re-examine, revisit the ideas to discover how when we eventually do re-emerge into the world, how we can do it in a way that raises the quality of our interactions, our relationships, and ultimately brings us closer together again.